Alfa Romeo might be darling by devotees, however the brand has dependably had a difficult time in the United States. Of course, we may think back affectionately now at autos like the Spider, Milano, and Giulia, yet those models never had the effect of their German or British adversaries. Moderate deals and a notoriety for poor unwavering quality executed Alfa in the US over two decades prior. The automaker is back with autos like the 4C, Giulia and, most imperative, the 2018 Stelvio Hybrid. The Stelvio needs to offer well if Alfa has any expectation of remaining alive in America. Of course, it may not be as sharp or as nice looking as the Giulia, yet the market requests hybrids, with the goal that's what it'll get. The Stelvio is hopping into an extreme and very challenged section. Opponents like the Porsche Macan, Jaguar F-Pace, BMW X3 and Mercedes-Benz GLC class are largely solid contenders with attractive styling and lively driving elements. The Stelvio will need to truly sparkle to make a scratch. Relate editor Joel Stocksdale, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio feels especially like a greater, taller Giulia. While this means it feels somewhat less agile and spirited, it additionally implies that it's outstanding amongst other drivers in its class. In the engine is the same turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-barrel making 280 strength. It feels perfectly for this hybrid. It's cheerful to sit at low RPM on the interstate, yet additionally conveys lively speeding up while tromping on the gas. It even sounds great, giving a growly snorty sound while quickening. It's similar to a grown-up form of the motor in the Fiat 500 Abarth. Ride and taking care of are all around adjusted, as well. Controlling is fast and the entire vehicle feels astoundingly light. It inclines altogether more than the Giulia in turns. However, as hybrids go, the Stelvio is an extraordinary handler. The ride is on the hardened side, yet a long way from rebuffing. I do wish the guiding was somewhat heavier, and that the weight developed all the more logically. It feels somewhat less open than I'd inclined toward. The Giulia Association proceeds inside, however this time we wish they weren't so comparative. In spite of the fact that the dashboard is an appealing shape, there are many lowlies plastics strewn about. Some of the handles feel chintzy, as well. There's not a ton of knee room in advance, either, and the seat could utilize a couple of greater modification alternatives. One thing the Stelvio's inside nails, however, are those magnificent move paddles. They're gigantic section-mounted units that are anything but difficult to discover paying little mind to your hand position, they have a stout activity and they're produced using strong metal that feels awesome. No doubt about it, the Stelvio is practically a major Giulia. That is great and awful, yet in the event that you need a useful hybrid that isn't dead inside, the positive attitude exceed the terrible. Relate editor Reese counts, this is it. This is make it or break it for Alpha. On the off chance that it can't pitch a hybrid to a customer base frothing at the mouth or high riding hatches, at that point nothing can spare the organization. The fixings are all there, good looking plan, restrictive identification and energetic elements. The truth will surface eventually if clients can look past Alpha's not as much as stellar notoriety and pick the Stelvio over something like the Macan or F-Pace. That is the issue with the Stelvio. The opposition is all extremely solid. There's not really a rotten one among the cluster, making the activity considerably harder for Alpha. All things considered, initial introductions are solid. The minute you start up the sweet minimal four pot with a guiding wheel mounted start, you get the feeling this is something else. Like Joel stated, this feels like a major Giulia, regardless. The inside is basic and clean yet loaded with various shoddy materials. All things considered, I like the controlling haggle mounted doors, 